Hi, this is Jason with HCR Beta, and I am going to use some tenacious tape to repair a repair on my Marmot wind and rain jacket. So, a number of years ago, I had some embers fall on the sleeve of my Marmot rain jacket, and I was I bought some tenacious tape, and I was very quick to put this repair on and it says to make circles of the tape and I ended up just making a square and rounding the the corners and as you can see now the repair is old enough that the the tape has failed but that's okay it's been maybe three years maybe even four years so the what the tape is famous for is that it says it's removable with no residue so let's see exactly if that is the case. So I'm going to look for this corner right here. And I'm going to peel up the old marmot. Oh. Uh oh. So let's. Nope. That's going to take. That looks like it's going to take some work to get that off. All right, well, I'm going to pause the video and come back. All right, and that is why it is called Tenacious Tape. That is approximately 15 minutes of picking little tiny pieces of the tape off. And the tape ended up coming off in just hundred dozens if not hundreds of little pieces like that uh, why is it not come on autofocus so um, now I've got to take the sleeve and I've got to go find something that oh the other sleeve I've got to go find something that will take off that tape residue and we'll be back Okay, I went and got my Dissolve It, which is one of the world's best multi-purpose cleaners for adhesives. And I've sprayed it a little bit on a rag. And now I'm going to wipe, see if this residue comes off easily. And it looks like it is not coming off easily. It's coming off, but it looks like I'm going to have to spend some time on that. And we'll be back. Okay, so that's about another 15 minutes that I spent with the Dissolve It. And I am happy with the results. I would say 99.5% of that adhesive is off of that area. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait until tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and wash this because that citrus oil, I don't want that in on, on the jacket. I'm thinking that it would not uh, adhere. It would not allow the, the, tena the new tenacious tape uh, patch to adhere very well. So uh, let's wash this and see what happens tomorrow. And we're back. So I've laundered this and... The result is that I feel that there's about 90, 99% of the residue. You can see a little tiny bit of residue on there, but that's I think that's about as good as it's going to get. I spent about 15 minutes picking off the old patch and about 15 minutes with the Dissolve It uh, cleaning solution getting the old adhesive off. And yeah, I'm, I could be satisfied with that. So now I'm going to place... I've got I've already pre-cut my new patch out and I'm just going to place this on the jacket. So take the backing off. I'm going to rub that in there so it makes really good contact. And there, there you have it. I've repatched, and I got a little. I'm going to do off camera. I'm going to do these two, but I've repatched an old pair, 
using the world famous tenacious tape. And that's how you re-repair a hole on your marmot jacket. Thanks for watching.